vaccine for 25 million. The key thing is don't be inhaling, don't be ingesting, don't be sucking particles into your body that could get the radiation inside. All right, we got to run. Look at this. Look at this. Um, first, your advice is stay inside, don't drink or eat anything. Many of the themes that are promoted on the Fox News channel have to do with generating fear, whether that's fear of immigration, a fear of sexual difference, a fear of racial difference. When you pander to fear, it, it's a great motivator and organizer. You've got to keep people alarmed. They really love this sense of fear and danger even when it's not there. And so when something is actually dangerous, as some things are, uh, they go completely overboard. And every, all sense of perspective is lost. So that anthrax, which I guess affected four or five people adversely, no question about it, is far more dangerous than you know the poisoning of our air. The way we deal with them is the way President Bush is dealing with them. You cordon the area, you search for them, and you shoot them. The motivator is fear. And then the payoff is, you know, we're going to go out and kill the bad guys. And, you know, you, you, it's a very simple black and white world that they uh, paint and portray. Terrorism has become the all-purpose fear and weapon because now everything is converted into terrorism. And, of course, if you have a constant sense of unease, then you're going to look to the government to protect you. You're going to look to strong government. We've removed from power enemies of this country. We have made America more secure. There are these enemy out there, it's an ill-defined enemy, but as long as we're fighting them and killing them and he's looking presidential, then nothing else again is discussed. What was interesting is in the climate of the Bush administration that much of that fear, the emotion, uh, was purposely misdirected by the right wing uh, into uh, the war in Iraq. The type of coverage Fox offers, and all of them offer, but Fox is probably the most pristine version, is completely consistent with Bush's, um, with, with the strategy of the Bush administration. A, to uh, prevent discussion of things that are not going well, like, for instance, the economy or the Medicare bill. There's no doubt that the war against Iraq, a country that did not attack us, could only proceed based on fear. Tonight, it's a special two-hour block. War is my last choice, but the risk of doing nothing is even a worse option as far as I'm concerned. Dealing with Iraq, the president's war on terror. When will his military plans get put into action? We hope you depend on us for the truth because we're going to report the situation in Iraq without an agenda or any ideological prejudice. Then you got to take what comes. Not that we hate you, Martin Sheen, but that we may not want to watch your television program anymore because we're identifying you with being against what we believe in. Americans and indeed our foreign allies who actively work against our military once the war is underway will be considered enemies of the state by me. But first, are the Americans who went over to Baghdad to act as human shields? Well, are they more than just protesters? Are they traitors? So Harry Belafonte, he's at it again. He says the Bush administration is possessed of evil. As the Calypso King on Bonkers. We'll you can, you have a right to say what you want, but we have a right Bill, not to Bill, buy your is. record. Just fair warning to you, Barbara Streisand, and others who see the world as you do. We don't want to demonize anyone, but anyone who hurts this country in a time like this, well... Let's just say you will be spotlighted. Certainly television and perhaps to an extent my station was intimidated by the administration and its foot soldiers at Fox News. And it did, in fact, put a climate of fear and self-censorship, in my view, in terms of, of the kind of broadcast work we did. The first rule of being a great propaganda system and why our system is vastly superior to anything in the old Soviet Union is not that people think they're being subject to propaganda. If people don't think that, they aren't looking for that, they're much easier to propagandize. And that's the genius of our media systems, a system of ideology, of control compared to an authoritarian system.